This is the FM Gold Channel of All India Radio. In the program spotlight, now we bring you a discussion on the necessity of regional cooperation among nations to tackle COVID-19. The participants are Skand Ranjan Tail, former diplomat, and Mahendra Ved, journalist. A very important collective move has begun in the South Asian region and promises to go global in a manner of speaking. It is for a joint coordinated combat against coronavirus disease, COVID-19 for short. Leaders of South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation, SARC, met in a video conference on Sunday and this was India's initiative at a very short notice. The initiative in fact came from Prime Minister Modi and has been welcomed not just within the region but also elsewhere. The salient point, Ms. Dattail, you could start with that. Prime Minister Modi has taken a very important initiative because uh, India being the largest country of South Asia should take the lead. And if we see the spread of coronavirus globally, its effect has been different in different regions. For instance, in East Asia, China has suffered, South Korea has suffered, now it is spreading in Japan. All over Europe, we see one after another, whether it is Italy, then Germany, Spain now is under great trouble. So it is important that the leaders of South Asia look at this entire problem with the perspective of South Asia. And South Asia is vulnerable. As the president of Afghanistan said that the border with Iran of Afghanistan is practically open. And Iran has lots of cases. So the initiative is very important and it is very encouraging that all the countries participated enthusiastically and some very important decisions were also taken. For instance, our Prime Minister offered that rapid response teams will be made available by India because we have had some experience and I would say that in different cities, in different states, the response of our doctors, our nurses, our officials has been very professional and very effective. And then like the delegate team is already in Maldives. Is already in, in Maldives. And even money, Prime Minister has made that dollar ten whether for the COVID nineteen emergency fund, he has already offered dollar ten million and said that any country can draw from there. Because it is very important that in whichever country it start the some cases are found, it should be contained there itself. And fortunately, what has been seen till now is that whatever cases are all over South Asia, there are about 174 cases have been uh, reported in SARC and more than 100 are in India. But all these cases have had some connection with somebody who came from abroad. So right. till now, this infection and this virus is not indigenous to South Asia. I think that is very important. Would you agree with me if I say that South Asian region has done relatively better, both in terms of the being infection and also taking the initiative to get over it and do things on its own? Till now, it seems that the virus has been contained. Wherever some signs were there, it has been contained. But uh, some experts also say that since the incubation period can be up to two weeks and some people who have been infected may not show the sign for two weeks. So the, it is very important that all the precautions must be taken. And since the virus is coming from outside South Asia, the first line of defense is our airport okay. and our borders. So it is very important whether it is Kathmandu, whether it is uh, Dhaka, whether it is Karachi, whether it is uh, Sri Lanka, all the airports must have full screening. And uh, I think uh, for that also, our Prime Minister has uh, offered that some integrated disease surveillance portal, because some uh, software has already been developed in India, that whoever is infected or has been found with the positive for the virus, with whom he has been in contact, how many people have been in touch with him, how many people are possibly in danger, so all those uh, names should be there on this portal. And so preventive action is very, very important. And then a person is found to be affected or exposed to coronavirus, how to isolate him or her, whether quarantine in a hospital or at home. So there are some very clear steps to be taken. And there India's experience will be shared, will be available 
to all the other countries of South Asia. But from what the Prime Minister says, I think we also have the manpower, the expertise to send across in teams to be sent at short notice. It is a very generous offer that re rapid response teams have been made and as you said, one team is already in Maldives and in the future, again Prime Minister said that there should be some joint research also so that how to control this kind of a virus it should be a common research in South Asia, which our Indian Council for Medical Research will coordinate. Yes, that's, I think, the lead uh, organization. That will be the lead organization. Because uh, Bangladesh also has offered expertise. They also seem to have developed something. They are also and very good in health services. Bangladesh is also doing very well. And the Prime Minister also said that there will be a video conference of nodal experts of all the seven countries after one week. So they can take stock of the situation and see how to move forward. You see, this, because of this virus, economies have gone for a toss in very many countries. You see the Sensex and the share markets behaving very erratically. Prime Minister has agreed to arrange a meeting of trade officials. Fortunately, India's economy is not so much globalized and also it is not that much tourism dependent. But Maldives, half the economy comes from tourism. Yes. And but President said that there is already a drop of 30% in tourists. Nepal has cancelled all the, in the spring, the mountaineering starts yes. for yes. Everest, etc. They have cancelled all the mountaineering expeditions and they are also short of supply of essential medicines and protective equipment because one needs a lot of masks and robes and gloves and shoes. So that is a shortage of that also. I think it is a very good decision which has been taken because prevention is better than cure. And uh, coronavirus uh, grows exponentially. What we have seen in, say, Italy or Iran or Spain now, are there 35 countries? And in, but we see that in some countries it has been growing very rapidly. And in some countries not so Iran, rapid. Italy, Iran, Iran is very bad. Is evacuation, that is one of the points that was made at the conference yesterday. I mean, India itself has done a lot of evacuation from Wuhan, China itself, and from other places. Now, this is a major point for people. Now, talk of borders, but they say Maldives is such a small country. Now, people have to fly in and fly out. I mean, it's but a the most serious of the, problem for them. Most of the tourists from Maldives, the largest number comes from China and Italy. Somebody can bring that virus. Yes. That's why they are very vulnerable. In fact, uh, see, the conference itself, except for Pakistan, which had uh, Mr. Zafar Mirza, special assistant to Prime Minister Imran Khan on health issues. Except him, all others were at summit level. It That's was right. A, almost a summit. That's very right. nearly a SARC summit. And uh, you had Prime Minister Oli, you had President Ghani, you had Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, Bhutan's uh, Lotus Sharing, and uh, President Soli of the Maldives, and Gotabaya, President Rajabaksa. of uh, Sri yeah. Lanka. So it was an all-in effort. In fact, and Prime is... Minister made this point about... Uh, being prepared and not be scared. In fact, Pakistan papers say, Darna nahi hai. In fact, so after the, the 2014 SARC summit in Nepal, this has really been, that was in 2014. And yes. after that, of course, it was supposed to be held in Pakistan and because of terrorism, etc., it could not be held. But it is very encouraging that the, all the leaders of South Asia very decided to come together. They spent 90 minutes in the summit conference. And why not? They should make use of this technology yes. of video conferencing. And it is a very immediate concern. And till now, fortunately, God has been kind and South Asia has not suffered very much. But it has to be kept that way. And for that, it is very important that all the countries work together. They coordinate. For instance, India, Nepal, we have practically a porous border. India, Bangladesh also, there is a, the border. A lot of people just go to across. Longest border we have. Longest border we have. And so it is not enough that we control the people and check the people who come through our airports and ports. Suppose this spreads, say, in Bangladesh. Then it will be very difficult for us to prevent its entry, virus's entry into India. So it is important that all the countries stop it in their own countries, whether it's Bangladesh, whether it's Nepal whether it is Bhutan, whether it is Sri Lanka or Pakistan. And the problem is particularly in metropolitan cities. The problem wasn't there in Mumbai till a few days ago. And suddenly, Mumbai, Pune, Nagpur have been declared emergency. As somebody so it, said that... Wherever the population is dense. Population is dense and 
one can say that wherever there are rich people, that means people who are traveling abroad yeah. or who have friends who are coming from abroad, that they means. are more vulnerable. And the poor parts of South Asia, since they are not exposed to foreigners or they do not travel abroad, yes. in fact, they are very safe. That is where these 1.3 million people in India are, are very relatively safe. better off. <laughs> but then this is one-fifth of the humanity, the South Asian region. And if uh, God forbid if things go bad, it's going to be very, very serious. Now, you mentioned about South Asian cooperation, and Pakistan has proposed the SARC health ministers meeting. So, would you agree if I say, is it some kind of a revival of SARC, or is it too early to think of it? I think mean, it's a very clear signal that there are some issues which are beyond politics. Virus yes. does not know any geographical boundary or political boundary that whether you are a Pakistani or Indian or Bhutanese. Virus is a virus. It treats all of us as human beings. So all humans are vulnerable. So I would say at a certain level, it's a message that forget your differences and come together. And uh, this is a very good uh, subject on which all the seven countries of South Asia can work together with a lot of friendship, amity. And naturally, India will take the lead because we have the resources, we have the expertise, and we have the doctors, nurses, research institutions. We have uh, equipment. If suppose uh, Bhutan wants some equipment or some uh, medicine, that we can immediately supply. So it's a very good uh, way for India to again uh, show its leadership in South Asia. This is I am reminded of a tsunami when it happened, and uh, the way India and many countries uh, reacted to try to reach out to others, which was very commendable. I remember 2004. Who did it? In, Although India itself has suffered, but there are so many. But our ships events. were the first to reach Indonesia. Yes. Our ships were the first to reach Sri Lanka and Maldives yes. and brought a lot of relief. Although there were trouble in Tamil Nadu. In Tamil Nadu, we had. Andaman Nicobar, Andaman Islands, the whole. It was very bad. And Andaman Nicobar. But we have. These are the things, this is the spirit in which you need to work. The tsunami came and went. Now, this. But well, we this, have the capacity. This we, virus so seems to be, you don't know how long it will last. That so is this so. question of having long-term preparations. Long-term preparations, and that's why what Prime Minister said that one should do joint research. Joint research. That yes. how to, whether there can be a vaccine against it. And that will be a global effort. And uh, South Asia, Asia should also um, make its contribution. A little depressing news it comes from Germany today. They say they developed a vaccine. But uh, the minister concerned there says that it is not available to everybody. It but they should share. Can be manufactured in India. India has a tremendous capacity to have uh, medicines to make vaccines. And uh, I would uh, say that WHO or, uh, should take this patent yes. and make it available to the world. Whoever wants to make and our companies will be in a very good position to supply it at a very affordable cost to all over the world. Now, I started by talking of going global, and uh, Australian Prime Minister Morrison has talked about already having talked to Mr. Modi, that conference of G20 countries. How do you think that would uh, work out? Today, the G7 extraordinary meeting is taking place. France is the chairman of uh, G7. It will be a video conference again with President Trump and uh, six other leaders to minimize the economic impact. The aviation is affected because of tourism, aviation. Because aviation is affected, tourism industry will be affected. Then the supply chain, because the China is a part of the global supply chain, and so the global production will suffer. How do you think world at large will look at it? I think the world might have woken up a little late to this danger, but now everybody is very conscious, and all the countries are working with single-minded purpose to contain it, and uh, God willing, uh, we will be successful. On that positive, soothing note, thank you very much. Thank you. You were listening to a discussion on necessity of regional cooperation among nations to tackle COVID-19. The participants were Skand Ranjan Tail, former diplomat, and Mahendra Ved, journalist. This program was produced and presented by the News Services Division of All India Radio. This program is also available on the website newsonair.com. You can also follow us on the News on AIR app for updates. You may email your opinion about this program at airnsdtalks at gmail.com.